probably better than you. Uh, you could cut the uh, air with a knife around here. Are you alright, mate? No, I've had a I've had a stressful morning. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in a queue to get a coffee before I came on air. Unreal. Yeah, well, it's it's outrageous. Don't I know who you are. It's <laughs> the thing they don't. <laughs> but there's nothing more annoying when someone's standing there trying to buy a muffin and is tossing up between, oh, do I want the apple and cinnamon or do I want the blueberry? And this went on and on and on. It's anyway. almost like listening to the news with Riley. I think he drew a beard. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Um, how's your form? Um, not going too bad. Uh, I've had a pretty hectic week and uh, an emotional week. I got off the uh, winner of the Oakley Plate due to not being able to make a weight, which was pretty disappointing. And then bounced back on Sunday and rode a winner, which was good. Right, let's talk about that. Mrs. Onas has had 52 and a half kilos for the Oakley plate. What do you normally just stroll around at weight-wise without, oh, without having to really apply yourself? Look, I got up to 61 when I was out and uh, I got my weight back down to 55 and I ride 54. It's a bit of a battle. And I took the ride uh, thinking that I was able to plus half and ride the, the horse at 53 kilos. But unfortunately, uh, the connections wanted the the full weight taken off which was 52 and a half and I was unable to provide that which is fair enough and they uh, then got Kira McAvoy to ride the, ride the horse. So. Alright, well you were down in uh, Launceston yesterday, you finished fourth in the cup, um, what were the conditions like? Yeah, the conditions were quite muggy, uh, it was a, quite a nice day weather wise apart from we got one big downpour that went for about 15 minutes which really uh, took its toll on the track. It was still a slow seven but I believe it was closer to probably a heavy eight or nine but uh yeah it's unfortunate with the rain i think it scared a lot of people away from the races they probably didn't get the crowd they would have liked but uh overall it was a nice day and look my horse went reasonably well in the cup all right uh, our good friends at digger pony have offered us a hundred dollar voucher to give out to the best contributor of the morning so if you've got any questions for chris you can get involved uh, sms to zero four one six ninety fifty fifty two you can email racing ahead at rsn.net.au or get involved in twitter you get me at Global Gulp, Chris at CD Simons, or the station at RSN Sport Radio. Let's go back to Caulfield last week because it was an amazing day of racing. Fantastic scenes after the, the feature race of Blue Diamond Stakes, won of course by Miracles of Life and beautifully ridden by uh, Lauren Stiakovic. She said, and she made some comments after the race when being interviewed on Channel 7. She talked about how during the run she could, she could hear the jockeys talking about where she was in the run. Um, is this something that happens on a regular basis in a race? I mean, are you all conscious about where people are and, and do you actually verbalise these type of things? Well, there's calling throughout every race and normally probably for awareness and safety so everyone knows where each other are. But uh, despite what punters probably, probably think, jockeys aren't silly. They know where the favourite's in running and, uh, you know, they're out there to beat it. So this would happen in any race, not just a Group 1 race? Yeah, look, there's always calling, but probably not, oh, keep one in, or it's more, I'm here, or, you know, I'm coming out. So, uh, she, I did hear her comments made on Channel 7, and she mentioned that uh, she heard jockeys yelling out, keep her in, keep her in, but uh, I think you'll find, well, was it Christian Reef was on her outside, he's a, you know, he's used to going the other way, he had his, lift, his whip in the left hand, and uh, his horse rolled out, which allowed... Uh, her to get through which just ended up a marvel for her but uh, I'm pretty sure the Hong Kong based jockey behind wasn't too impressed and no doubt if he was outside of her uh, poor old Barbie would have had a big stripe on her from the running rail and would have looked more like a zebra and probably would have got barbecued. <laughs> You've worked on that one all week haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> of course you're talking about Brett Preble who was in town uh, to ride in the Blue Diamond. Um, how good do you think it is uh, first of all, I'll ask you how good do you think Miracles of Life is based on what you saw last weekend? How far do you think she can go? I think she can go all the way and uh, you know, she's obviously proven that. She's not very big and size doesn't mean anything when you look at these sort of races and uh, I just think it's a marvel for Lauren to be associated with the horse. I think it's a fantastic story and it's an only a good thing for racing. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, with the discussion that happens mid-race, is that a part of intimidation? Do you think intimidation is a fair tactic during the race? I don't think it's intimidation. I think it's more probably competitive riding. Um, when a jockey's putting pressure on another jockey in the race, uh, I, I, no one's out there to hurt one another. And uh, uh, 
maybe there is a, a, a borderline intimidation, but overall, I think it's just being competitive. Is there sort of um, a fair amount of aggro? What's the language like? Is it quite colourful or is it...? Not really, I wouldn't think. Uh, it's probably more colourful when you come in if you've upset someone out there. But, uh, you know, you get it off your chest and, and normally everyone moves on within 10 minutes, so... All right, we'll take a break, come back. There's plenty more I want to talk to you about, including Dockey's sponsorship. Uh, if you'd like to get a question to Chris, 0416905052 is the SMS. Email racing ahead at rsn.net.au or Twitter at Global Gallop at CD Simons or at RSN Sport Radio. A $100 voucher to give away, a dinner voucher to dig a pony Mediterranean Tapas Bar and Lounge, uh, which is one of the best tapas restaurants in Melbourne. 18 past nine. Singing. 